we lost our dad in April. My husband couldn't be in my the church. My brother with died him. a month ago. We couldn't see him for four months. And they go out and break the rules. It's not lost fair. Loved ones. Business have been decimated. Jobs lost. Trust has been shattered. It's gone. It's lost. Essentially what journalism is, is finding out something that you think might be true or, or that somebody says is true and, and, and then just running down the facts. Journalism is a very competitive industry. You want, it to, you want to be first. You want to be the person who, who broke it. Journalism's incredibly fast paced these days. It's like a 24 hour rule in newsfeed. And we received the tip off very early afternoon between you know 11 and 12 noon, I think. And the story went live at around seven o'clock that night. So for seven, eight hours, you know, we spent on the phone ringing anyone and everyone that we thought would have some information about what happened. Sometimes in journalism you think it's going to be a massive story and you put it out into public and it, and it lands flat because the public doesn't buy into it. The following day's live line was, was when you knew this is really serious. People are taking this really, really seriously. People were ringing in and they were distraught, genuinely upset. And I remember listening to it in the office in Lancer House and thinking, this has really struck a chord with people who were furious. Um, and that fury was really coming from a place of hurt. I went to the hairdressers the next day and I sat down, I was filing my column from the laptop in the hairdressers and there was a little old lady sitting beside me and she turned to me and she said, oh my God, did you hear about that thing in Galway? And I just said, yeah. And that's when I knew, I was like, this is, everywhere you know old ladies are talking about it in hairdressers and i had never seen a new story do that before within a couple of hours of our story going live half nine ten o'clock on the thursday night people were emailing the tea shop this was the, the straw that broke the camel's back they'd believed in the public health message that they bought into lockdowns that they were happy to forego all of these things because they thought there was a greater good that everyone was buying into and what Golfgate, what that Oireachtas Golf Society dinner did was it drove a horse and cart through that notion of the common good of the of everyone's shoulder being to the wheel. For a lot of Golfgate I sat in a Starbucks in Dundrum by myself on the phone to people who really did not want to speak to me. The rest of the time on the phone to Paul, you know, back and forward, what did you hear about this, what did you hear about that? You need to fact check everything, you need to get points of view from people who were there, people who were involved in the organising of it. We had known that there was this dinner and then someone on the phone to myself or Paul slipped up and told us there was also a prize given. Someone slipped up and told us that there had been speeches. So each person that you ring gives you a wee bit more information. You know, me and Paul went through serious cases of self-doubt. I don't know how many times I went back to Paul and said I actually don't know about this anymore. Maybe this isn't the story we think it is. And it was John O'Mahony who very much kept our feet to the fire and said you need to keep going. This is massive. This is going to be massive. I've always really believed in, in the mission of journalism and the last year the, the COVID-19 pandemic has really shown us the, the value of good journalism. But to be able to make a big statement on who we were as journalists and who we are as journalists and where the Examiner brand is was really, really important for us personally and I, I hope for the, for the Examiner. We have a gender balanced politics team. Paul and I don't come from traditional journalism backgrounds. You know, I was the first person in my family to go to university and I think that's important and I would love to see more of that in journalism because I think it is important because you want to reflect Irish society and the only way to do that is to have an office that looks like the rest of Irish society. And I think Golfgate was really the, our way of saying, well, this is what the examiner is about now. You really get a chance to sit back and, and reflect on why you do this and why people pay for what you do. For me, that was, that was really, really important that you know when you put the paper to bed that you've done the best that you can for the, the people who, who, who buy it.